uh, I've got my uh, secondary here and uh, some else that I've been working on is uh, a second secondary that I've built to the same specs and uh, the reason I've done that is because I, I want them to uh, uh, be able to resonate with each other and uh, I'm just checking that they do at the moment and, uh, what I've got is I've got uh, my original coil resonating at 284.7 that's resonating nicely I'm just going to swap the coils around and see if we get the, uh, the same image as that I'll do that now right, I'll swap the coils around now you see how the, uh, my original one's got smaller black rim at the top and this one's got a much larger one and at the bottom and we've got exactly the same trace which uh, I'm really pleased that now where uh, smells else I'm going to do is uh, while this is resonating uh, my uh, second port I'm going to dual trace it and uh, I'm going to see how far away we can uh, still receive this signal whilst it's in resonance I'll do that now right we've got about uh, 20 centimeters between the two now and uh, that probe is just hooked up on its own and it's on one times uh, if I come all the way around I've got it on uh, two volts per division and if you can see that it's, uh, it's different to the one that's on there but they match each other there look. now uh, so basically uh, we've got uh, one two three four five six seven 8 times 2 16 16 volts going through the that coil uh, AC that is now we've got a square wave coming in at uh, roughly 12 volts and then uh, the voltage through this one because of the resonance rise is 20 times the 8 so uh, we're managing to uh, transmit the energy quite a large distance and uh, just so you can see what uh, happens if I put my hand in the way it makes a little effect but not, not too much that's great then and uh, thanks for watching